What's up, Skywatchers? What is up indeed? Sunday, September 29th, 2024. We have a sudden stratospheric warming event in progress. It wasn't long ago we were just talking about how the northern polar vortex was slow to form this year. So the first thing I thought about when I saw this was, is HARP operating recently? I didn't find anything I could use right away. If anyone in Alaska saw something, let me know. So my next thought was, what about IceCat in Norway and Finland? And wouldn't you know it, there's definitely something happening. IceCat Radar School 2024, students from around the world. Sounds like the perfect opportunity to show off the climate-destroying ionospheric heaters. And last December, we saw this same facility split the polar vortex in two. This sudden stratospheric warming event will have significant impacts on mid-latitudes. I would expect this event to send cold air rushing down to the surface, causing an extreme cold event in the next few weeks, so be prepared. On to the Category 5 Atmospheric River. I was so focused on Hurricane Helene, I completely missed the story. But first, Hurricane Helene. This geoengineered monster of a storm has killed at least 89 souls, and that number is rising. This monster storm has affected many states and has wiped towns right off the map. My heart, my prayers go out to you. I wish there was more that I could do. Guys, there are more storms on the way, and I'll be watching and warning through these events. Now this Category 5 Atmospheric River on September 22nd, 2024 was classified by a newly established scale. The radar return that we're looking at here was sent to me on September 21st, and we can see Nexrad is very active in modifying this event. Thank you, Paul A., for sharing critical information. Much love, brother. This intense atmospheric river swept through the Gulf of Alaska, bringing abundant rainfall to coastal British Columbia, Canada, and southeastern Alaska, bringing with it more than 20 inches of rain at some locations. Mark my words, they will be changing many of their scales to account for all of their different weather modification programs, all working together around the world toward one goal, complete climate chaos. I will link these stories in the description box for you. We'll take a look at radars in just a moment, but first, Earth's new moon. It's supposed to arrive tonight, and hopefully I can get a photo or two. And for you guys watching on Facebook, make sure you share your photos and maybe I'll make a special video. I've also been requested to do a live stream pertaining to the eating of fluoride tabs as children. So that people may share their personal experiences, and I'll let you know when I set that up. We also have another visitor in the sky, Comet C-2023, and it's expected to increase in brightness to become the brightest comet in recent years. Now some are calling this a harbinger of things to come. I think most of us know this is only the beginning of what's coming. They, the controlling occult, have been ramping this up for four years, and most of what we see is actually ritual. Whether we're talking about the sun, the moon, the wars, the destruction on the ground, all of this has been planned for a very long time. So let it be written, so let it be done. So let it be written, so let it be done. All right, guys, I see folks every day who are losing hope, and I just wanted to say this. Finding a way to stay positive is so very important. Every new day is another opportunity to be better than yesterday. And for me, it was about shifting perspective, understanding who and what we are up against, building my survival skills. But it went much deeper than that. It also became a philosophical journey, something I can hand down to the next generation of warriors. All right, let's take a look at radar returns. I couldn't get the Alaska radar to play tonight, but it sure looks like a mess from Point Hope down through the Gulf of Alaska. And for the Pacific Northwest, 
It looks like a beam of energy feeding your storm system and sending it right into British Columbia and over to Alberta. Now watch this burst of electromagnetic radiation pulse and cradle the remnants of Helene. Now I'm going to play this in slow motion. We can see beams coming out of San Diego, California, Mexico, and Texas. All of these locations have one thing in common. They have particle accelerators. All right, looking at the next rad reflectivity map for the same time period, we can see Texas and California light up with energy. Yeah, we know what's up. So this was supposed to be a fundraising weekend for the channel but I didn't feel right with so much going on around us. But I would like to thank Adrian Pitt and my Sea Runner for helping to support the channel. I really couldn't do this without you guys. And a huge thank you to you guys who hit the like button and share these videos. Much love and many thanks. So until next time, stay aware, be prepared, and keep looking up.